y'all give it up for Mrs. Lavario. Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up, people? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So, guys, you know, I wanted to tell you today, you know, how you can get more girls on your team, have more sex, go on more dates, you know, so you don't have to be, you know, chilling at home on a Friday, Saturday night. It's the weekend. You want to, you know, be chilling with some chick, getting it popping, right? But um, the, the, the thing I want to tell you guys is this, is that, a lot of guys and you know, a lot of guys that email me and everything else like that, they hit me up and they say, you know, yeah, I'm talking to this girl, but she acting funny and this other girl is is, you know, she playing games and this and this and that, right? See the thing is the reason why a lot of guys are having trouble um, you know, getting girls and getting more girls is because you are dealing with women that are not cooperative, you're dealing with women who are flaky, you're dealing with women who are on some bullshit. But the thing is, is that you have to understand that dealing with these girls is affecting your ability to get more women. Do you understand? So what you need to do is learn how to reject these women who are not cooperating. And then this, in turn, will get you more women. I'm going to explain more in a second, okay? So let's say, for example, a guy is talking to five chicks, right? And one out of those five girls is cooperating. One out of those five girls he's having sex with and, you know, things is cool or whatever. But, you know, he still wants more chicks, which is why he's talking to the other four girls. But the other four girls are bullshitting. They, you know, they're being flaky. They're giving them the runaround. Shit ain't really popping off. But the thing is, he wants to still be dating more than one girl. He still wants to be having sex with more than one girl. Right? But the reason why he's really only having sex with that one girl and not getting more girls is because he, instead of, you know, realizing that he actually only has one girl on the team, he thinks he has five women on the team. But the four women who are not cooperating, who are not, you know, uh, being there and who are who are on some bullshit, they are not on your team. Do you understand what I'm saying? So guys get confused and they think that they have more girls than they really than they really have. So the thing is, is that when you think that, let's say you're that same guy, you're, de you're dealing with these five chicks and only one of them is really, you know, getting a popping with you. What's ha what happens is, is that you say, damn, well, I want all five girls and I want even more than five girls or whatever, whatever, you know, depending on what you want. Now, since you think you have five women, what happens is that you're going to you're, you're going to sort of fall back a little bit you're going to get a little bit lazy in your game because you're going to go out with your friends or whatever you're going to see other chicks and you're going to be like you know yeah i could talk to her but i'm already talking to these you know five other girls but you really only got one because the only one of them is cooperating you understand so now your mind is telling you that you're talking to a lot of women already that you got a lot of women but in reality you only have one so therefore you need to reject the other four girls cut them off immediately so you start to actually realize the reality of the situation is that you only have one. See, if you think you have more than that, if you think you have those five, if you think you have five, then what, you, what you're going to tell yourself is, well, I don't need to talk to any more girls because I'm talking to five girls right now. You, you understand what I'm saying? But you're not really getting it popping with the other four. You're just calling them up. You're trying to make shit happen. They're saying they're going to meet you here. They don't meet you there. You've been politicking with this chick for two months and shit still ain't happened. So now you're waste the time you're wasting on these other girls who are not cooperating with you is the time you need to put in to talk to other girls who will cooperate like that one girl is cooperating with you. Do you understand this? So the reason why you are having a lack of women is because you have too much women around you who are not cooperating and who are taking up too much of your time, the time you need to actually holler at other chicks. Also, it's kind of, the thing is, is that it's clouding you from the, re the, the reality of the situation is that you are not really getting a popping with these girls, but you have the illusion of you talking to all these girls and getting all this shit popping just because they're there. But it's like these chicks are kind of like, you know, dead weight because ain't nothing happening with these chicks. So the thing I always tell guys is that when you start talking to women or when, you know, you hollering at girls, you're approaching girls, you're trying to build your team up, you're trying to get a whole bunch of girls to, to you know, to date, to have sex with, whatever, you have to, 
you know, really see if a chick, you know, any chick that you're dealing with, if you're trying to build a team, you have to see if these chicks are cooperating if if the things if the things that you're doing with her is progressing meaning let's say you go out on a date then you you know she you know you call her up you, she comes in to meet you wherever you say to meet her like she's actually actively putting in some effort to want to, to 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 be with you to see you and to do things if she's doing that then that's the type of chick you continue to see and you build with that girl and the other girls that you're dealing with who are doing the same things as her but if you're dealing with girls and then you you notice that, you know, you're always the one that has to try to call her. You know, she never calls you. You you call her, it goes to voicemail. She says she'll meet you somewhere. She she breaks her promise that she's going to meet you there. Or, you know, you're supposed to meet up somewhere and she flakes on you at the last minute. Once you see the chick starting to do those things, cut her off immediately. Because what's going to happen is you're going to have a whole bunch of chicks who are not, you know really cooperating and then you're going to you're going to subconsciously you know feel like you have women and then therefore you're not going to get other women because you think you have a lot already but you don't really have them you don't really have them really into you like that so when friday and saturday comes up on the weekend you understand and you only you 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 think you have five girls but you only got that one girl who's cooperating and then let's say that one girl is doing some shit so you ain't gonna see her and you really want some ass and then you 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 trying to pick up the pieces with the four girls who's who's already on some bullshit to begin with but what you needed to do is cut those four girls off reject those four girls stick with that one and continue to talk to other women and then see if they are cooperating just like that one is do you understand this this is why a lot of guys have you know issues with attracting more women is because you surround yourself or you put yourself in a position to where you're dealing with women who are on some bullshit and nothing's going to happen nothing's really going to happen and it's, it, nothing's going to happen with them you know while you're dealing with them it's the same thing as if you're dealing in business like sometimes you know you might be trying to do something on some business shit and then you meet certain people who just they're all talk they don't really do what they say they're going to do and then shit don't happen then you meet people who you know they're about what they're about <clears throat> you understand they, they get shit done and you work with them and things happen. It's the same concept, but nothing's going to happen if you keep surrounding yourself by people who are on that bullshit. So when you surround yourself with women who are on that bullshit, you're just going to get bullshit and then things aren't going to be progressing like you want it to, to progress. You know, the thing is, is that it's hard sometimes because you say to yourself, damn, well, I've been kind of talking to this girl for a couple weeks and, you know, even though she, you know, we ain't see each other, she, she kind of flaked twice. Maybe this time it's going to work out because, you know, you, you're thinking, oh, she's so hot. I want to hit it. I want to get with that. But the thing is, you have to understand that when you're dealing with chicks, if a chick is into you, if a chick likes you, she's going to cooperate. She's going to see you. She's going to make it happen. She's not going to give you the runaround. So you have to, you know, be cognizant of that fact. And the thing is, is that when you're dealing with girls, you have to look for those qualities in her. Do you understand? Then those are the girls you put time in. Don't waste time on the other women. Because wasting time on them is going to make it harder for you to attract other women because you're putting so much energy into, you know, seeing these girls who are uncooperative. And then also what it does is that it subconsciously makes you think that this is how it's supposed to be with women. It makes you think that you have to work this hard to get with women. Do you understand? So then you put yourself into more and more situations where you're dealing with women who are going to be on that bullshit with you because you're already coming with that energy like, okay, now I'm hollering at this new girl. Now I'm going to have to do a whole bunch of, you know, shit to get her to come see me. And you're, you're, you're giving off that energy instead of the energy of a guy that's like, listen, man, you know, I ain't got time to waste. You know, this is how I, this is how I am. This is how it is. If you like that, cool. If you ain't, you getting cut off. That's it. You understand that energy is real. That, that's real shit. And the thing is, is that if you, you know, surround yourself with a whole bunch of these bullshit chicks, you're going to, you know, you're going to, you're going to fuck your shit up. So don't be scared to kick these girls to the curb if they not, you know, uh, you know, doing what they're supposed to do. Kick them to the curb and keep it pushing with other chicks who are about that life. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And, you know, guys, if you need any help, make sure you get my book. 
How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day. Make sure you get my DVD, The Bad Boy's Guide to Dating. And also make sure you join the Bad Boy membership. Go to MrLocario.com and become a member. Click on the membership tab on the homepage of MrLocario.com. You get 45 to 90 minute audios every month. It is awesome. All right. So that is it for today, guys. I'm out of here. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. Listen, I get a lot of people that have problems and issues in their dating lives, and the reason why that happens is, is that most people, when they try to learn how to date and step up their dating game, they think it's something that's going to happen overnight. They think they're going to learn this magic formula, and then it's just going to poof happen just like that and that's not how it works and this is why you might be having problems in your dating life so what I did is I created the Mr. Locario membership program so in this membership program you get 45 to 90 minute audios and videos that will help you step up your game detailed how-to dating advice every month so when you join this membership you're gonna get these audios and videos every month so you will over time know how to step up your dating game and really get what you want check this out Okay, so now I'm going to show you how easy it is to join the Mr. Locario membership program. So first you go to MrLocario.com. On the home page, you click on the members tab. Then it's going to take you to this page where you see where it says men click here to sign up. Then right here, you scroll down. It's going to tell you all about the membership. It's going to tell you what you're going to get. So the first month, you're going to get the easy way to date online for men. Second month, we put up the ultimate five-step guide to getting over approach anxiety. Third month, you get how to attract women using direct game and much, much more. So every month, you're going to get a new program every month forever. So then you click here, you go to PayPal, and you join the membership. Now, once you do the PayPal, you're going to get a password. Once you get your password, you're going to go back to MrLocario.com on our homepage. You're going to go to Members, and now you're going to go to Men's Login gonna give you a password and you're gonna put your password in to log in to the membership now I already logged in so now it takes me to this page so as you can see the easy way to date online for men here's the audios it's gonna tell you everything you need to know the ultimate five-step guide to getting over approach anxiety the audio that's gonna tell you everything you need to know how to attract women using direct game the audio that's gonna tell you everything you need to know and as you can see all of this is on one page so if you join today you're gonna to get all of these that are up right now you're gonna get all of these and then every month you're gonna get a new program okay so that's how it goes when you join the mr. locario membership see it's that easy to join the membership program now listen I got some good news and I got some bad news now the good news is is that if you do join the membership you're going to end up getting a whole bunch of hot girls you're gonna be able to go up to any girl you want talk to her know what to say how to say it get these girls attracted to you all that good stuff now the bad news is is that if you don't join the membership you're gonna be doing exactly what you've been doing already you're gonna be staying at home alone on Friday night you're gonna be scared to get rejected you're going to have approach anxiety all these things that stopping you already is going to keep continuing to happen if you don't join the membership so now look the choice is up to you I hope that you choose the right choice to step up your dating game all right so this is mr. Locario the bad boy of the dating game I'm out of here remember the truth is inside you peace Mr. Locario, 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 Mr.